I got a question earlier this week about what you should do when you lose the motivation to work out. And I wanted to answer that today. So first things first, as you are preparing yourself to move, to exercise, the foundation of this pyramid starts with your sleep. And if you understand anything about sleep, Sleep can either give you the charge and the energy battery battery to move forward and conquer the week, or the lack of sleep can do the complete opposite, drain you entirely of your energy and make it very difficult to desire to move your body. So if you are having motivation issues or desire or will issues, it is super important to ensure that you spend some time improving this foundational principle of your sleep. If you need help with working on your sleep, I recorded a video with Stacy last week where we worked specifically on her sleep. If you need some assistance with that, you can click the link in the description to find that video or it's just, I believe, the second to last video on my page. In addition to that, though, there are some strategies that you can employ today if you are struggling with your motivation to train. If you have been watching my Instagram, you saw Bentley got surgery yesterday and he did not have a great night. On top of the fact that his mommy has not been having great sleep over the past couple of weeks either. I feel it impacting everything. Constant headache, constant fatigue, body isn't recovering well, I'm sore even though I haven't really worked out. Things are just not flowing the way that they typically would. So what do you do if you're losing sleep but you still have some type of conversation about making sure that you're getting your workouts done? One, caffeine. This is a Celsius packet and caffeine is gasoline to somebody who is running on fumes. However, you only employ the caffeine if you can ensure that when you go to the gym, you are not going to push yourself so hard that you can't go back tomorrow. The point of caffeine is to give you a little bitty energy boost so that you can go get some of what you would typically get because sleep is going to keep you from your typical volume. You go get some of what you would typically get. The caffeine is a little bit of energy boost to ensure that that happens. Two, you don't have to go. I'm not sure who said that you can never miss a day in the gym. I'm not sure who told you that you have to spend seven days working out and resistance training and doing your cardio. And if you skip a day, then you've lost out on all of your fat loss or health outcomes. That is simply not true. You don't have to go. Today, you have options. You can push through. And if you need a little bit of caffeine, you can push through with some caffeine. You can go take a walk or you can do absolutely nothing, right? The options are all always there today i could go to the gym or i could go sit in the sauna or i could go back inside of my house and take a nap you have the power to make a decision about what's going to work best for you and i think this is what i want to land with you today is that on this health wellness fitness and fat loss journey there will come times when you have to be the adult in your life and because this journey is simply a part of our lives you get to make the final call. Exercise will be something that you do forever. There is no out to exercise. You don't reach your goal and stop exercising. You don't make progress on your goal and stop getting your steps. You don't make progress on your goal and stop resistance training. These are things that you are going to do every day or not every day because we just talked about this doesn't have to be every day. This is going to be something that you do weekly until you can't do it anymore. And so if you understand that if I can't invest 10 cents today into my million dollar investment portfolio, if I can't give 10 cents today, then maybe I can give 10 cents tomorrow. And in terms of the big drop in the bucket, missing a day or having to cut back my volume for a day or having to alter the plan for a day, Maybe instead of doing my resistance training because I don't trust that my body has enough energy not to get injured resistance training today, maybe instead I'll go do a few minutes on the elliptical, do a light jog, do a biking session, go to the sauna or sit down. Either way, all of these are investments into this big bucket of health and fitness that we care so much about having. So I say all of that to say, you have the permission and the power to make your determinations 
about what you need to do for yourself, especially if you have lost motivation to move forward in your fitness. Now, I say all of that with a caveat. The caveat being that you have a track record of consistency. You are somebody who has been putting forth the effort. You are someone who has been focused on getting your workouts in and hitting your step goal. If we're working on building momentum, right? Maybe you're someone who is still working on incorporating steps, is still working on incorporating exercise. Skipping what's on the menu is probably not a great idea for you because we're trying to create a mental feedback loop that when I do these things, it gives me reward. And when we break that feedback loop, your reward actually comes from skipping out rather than getting it done. And we don't want that. So if you are working on building up your consistency for this, that's a completely different story. But if you've been consistent and you're someone who has a track record of success with this and you have just had an off week or an off day, you can either pick up a cup of coffee, a Celsius or an energy pack, throw it back and get it done. Or you can call it and say, you know what, I have deposited so much into this that it would actually feed me better to just take it easy and try to regroup and recover, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm gonna take this back. I'll probably go sit in the sauna and just get a good stretch and then come on right back home. And that's okay because of the track record and the history of investment in this. I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, Meet me down in the uh, caption or meet me down in the link in the description for my updated videos talking about sleep and how to improve your sleep if you're struggling with that as well. But I hope this was helpful for you and I'll be talking to you soon. Make it a great week.